Hello and welcome to Kuromo Market, the heart and soul of Osaka's culinary scene, a food lover's paradise. Precious seafood to sweet mochi, every bite is a celebration of the rich food culture of Japan. So come along with me and let's explore the culinary delights of Kuromo Market. All right, I'm gonna have lunch here, or brunch, here at Kurogin, at Kuromo Ichiba, this fish market. And this was on my bucket list at Kuromo, so I'm super excited to try it. I got the three types of tuna, the regular tuna, the fattiest tuna, otoro, and also the minced tuna, super excited, so let's check it out. Got my order, and this has three types of tuna. The regular akami, which is the regular tuna. This is the otoro, the fattiest tuna. And then the minced tuna here with some ikura on top. It's extremely delicious. This huge piece of regular tuna. I don't want to drop it. So let's try this out. Start off with this one because you can only go up from here after you can have the otoro after. So let's try this out. Not the first bite. Must stop here at Kurumo. Kurogi for sure. That tuna actually might be one of the better ones I've had in my life. Super fresh. And the cut, I don't know if you saw that, but like it was like this big. Amazing, amazing start for sure. Okay, I'm gonna have some of this minced tuna and it has some ikura as well on top. Some salmon roll. Let's try this out. Party foul. All right, take two. I'm not gonna hold the soy sauce anymore. I'll put it over here. That's what I should have done. Stupid me. All right. Replay, just as good. Very, very good. Mmm. Minstrel is always good. I think anywhere you get minstrel now. Like that doesn't change much, to be honest. I think the, the slices of tuna is where you can really have the difference in flavor and texture and everything and quality in general. Go with the otoro, the king of tunas. Let's put just enough soy sauce. I don't want to put too much. This is the king of tuna right here. Mm. You know what? I'm not gonna have rice, I'm just savoring the tuna itself. So fatty. It's just so oily. Very tender. Tuna butter. Yeah, that is tuna butter for sure. I could have like another 10 pieces of those. That's really good. All right, I'm gonna finish my meal here and then go look for some other places to eat. <laughs> so I just passed a random stall. They were selling raw oysters and looked really good. And the guy was super nice as well. And he actually mentioned this one is only 385 yen with tax included. And he said that the inside was going to be really small, but actually he said I got really lucky. Oh, and this one looks pretty big. So, today is my day besides the soy sauce. I'm going to have some ponzu with it and maybe just a tad bit of lemon, okay? Should be enough. All right, raw oyster, here we go. Wow, very creamy, very fresh. 
That is really good. 385 yen? That's an amazing deal. Wow. Yeah, definitely come here if you like raw oysters. Kind of have some footage of the shop so you can kind of see it. I don't have the shop name right now, but very, very good. Fresh and the guys, well, the couple is actually very nice. So definitely come here if you want some raw oysters. And yeah, there's some other stuff as well. So check out this shop here at Kuromo. here at Green Beans Parlor. Apparently the coffee is really good. So definitely stop by here to get some coffee. And I'm gonna go get some dessert now, so let's go check it out. Okay, so for dessert, found this place, Mitoya, Kurumo Mitoya, and this is a Tsubuan Daifuku, or Tsubuan Mochi. And so it's red bean, looks really good. So I think it's a good pairing with the coffee. So let's try it out. Immediately by the touch, it's actually very soft mochi, but it's kind of firm inside. So it looks like there's a lot of the red bean. So let's try this out. Mmm. Wow. That mochi is incredibly good. Very, very chewy. Very soft too as well. And the red bean. So there's bits of the red bean. It's not it's not smooth red bean. There's little bits of it. Very good. That's what tsuban means. Wow. Very, very good. I wish they had the strawberry dive food because I like the strawberry mochi, but unfortunately, it's out of season right now. So maybe next time I come to Osaka, I'll try the strawberry one when it's in season. But this red bean one is a very good option. You know, it's original, simple. Red bean and mochi. Coffee from Green Beans Parlor. Let's try it out. Mmm, just a very strong cup of black coffee. Very, very good to start off the day. Power you up for all the walking that you're probably gonna do here at Osaka. So yeah, definitely check out Green Beans Parlor and also Mitoya here at Kuromong. Good pairing, good snack, good coffee, and I'll be ready to have a good day here in Osaka. Okay, so that will conclude my food tour at Kuromong. And it's uh, one of the biggest food markets here in Osaka and the most popular. So definitely come check it out. I wish I had a little bigger budget because I could keep eating. There's so many food stalls, street food, and just like the freshest food, especially the seafood. Kurogin is a must go. And yeah, the dessert and obviously the coffee, fresh roasted coffee, very, very good. So definitely come check out Kuromong when you're in Osaka. You will not regret it, especially if you love food. If you enjoyed this video, please like. And if you haven't subscribed it, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.